So, just put it back. Uh, like we should be. Put the screw on. Okay. Now we're gonna just get your hand underneath. Be sure you you grab a liquid glass. Okay. Then slowly tilt up like this and get your hands. But of course, make sure you're alive before you apply any force because I don't want you to crack the edge of the liquid glass. Okay. That this looks good. Looks good. Okay. So I want to show you something. This one. Now it looks done. I haven't put uh, my uh, aluminum foil back, but I want to show you pictures here. So here we go. I have a uh, hooked up. Okay. Slide up. You see all the slight spots? Okay. Watch my hand. You see? You see what's changing, right? The reason, because this shit was cooked a little bit, if we do not put this one back, it's even worse. So, and then make sure it's a straight. So, you see in my hand, I push it better. So, because this, again, this shit was cooked it a little bit. So, what hopefully when we put it back, um, this one, we uh, you know, make sure this is straight and put a uh, aluminum foil back, it should getting better so let's just tip it back so when it, whenever the, the tip would be if this shit is cooked a little bit and you do not have this metal part and then it's always suggest you buy a additional uh, UB54 series uh, aluminum stick as a heat sink to push it like this make sure uh, this uh, LED uh, strip is straight because this is shit this is just a shit, you know, sometimes if you peel it off too much, it cooked it a little bit. So you see the light spots and some dark spots. Anyway. Okay. So we're going to put back a... Uh, put a... Let me disconnect this first, okay. Alright. See, put it here. And the edge. Be sure you put it back, uh, stick to it. Now let's fire up, see what happens. See, much better, right? It is much better. And, uh, you know, it's much better. And also one thing I want to show you. It's that how you could connect this end because when you order our U XB series that comes with the that ends with MS 202 CN, it comes with this connector. This one end connected here. Okay, so most thing we see some of the ATM machine a smaller screen they're using a uh, single lamp inverter. This is the most pop one of the popular one. How to connect this wire to the existing inverter harness two ways you can you can use this end and cut off the other end of your inverter wire harness and just hand right see like this one this side this side right or you can directly solder on a uh, on other side of the controller board uh, your pin assignment is not that difficult usually they have a print on the board on the connectors like of course ours always have a print I'm not sure you can see or not and but for this one doesn't have a print, it's easy. Uh, it's not that easy, but I mean, you know, it's easy to tell. For this particular one, you see the big capacitor. The negative is power ground, the positive, and should be the input voltage. Usually you look for the fuse here. And then the other two would be brightness and enable. Let's say you messed up uh, the other two, you're not so, you're not, so easy to identify power ground, positive. The other two would be uh, enable and just adjust or dimming control if you reverse the other two the rules will be the LED is not light up if that's the case you can reverse the pin or if you have a meter you just measure all this voltage usually the enable voltage 
is about 3 volts to 3.5 volts. So that's how you installation. Um, you know, everything looks okay, but if you think that's a little bit dimmer or it's brighter, and for this universal kit uh, for the XP, actually for for the kit that comes with this connector, there's a small switch here. You can adjust it. And all the setting, there's only one, two, three. You know, one higher one, three is the lowest one. Usually when you purchase it, we only set it in the middle, which is the default. So there's another advantage that you use in the HP. Um, you know, you can kind of use it to adjust the brightness. And um, that's it. Thank you for watching.